Good morning. It is day five. I'm really excited to try and make more music today on GarageBand. I just really enjoyed doing that yesterday. Oh man, the sun is bright. I also have only five beef sticks left and those have to last me until the end of this challenge. So I have less than two per day that I can eat. And I can't reorder any more because I got those for free via text because of the company I work for and I can't turn my texts on. So I must wait until after the challenge to order some more beef sticks. I don't really know what else the day will hold. I don't really plan my days very much, uh, but I'm excited to just make music, take it easy again. Today's gonna be another day of just relaxing and feeling into my little inner creative. Maybe I will finish the painting today, maybe not. I'm definitely going for a long walk after work. So my lunch break, not sure what I'll do then, but I'm not gonna go on two walks today because I still feel that little like two to three percent tingle of you know, if you don't take it easy, then you might get sick here pretty soon. But other than that, I woke up feeling pretty good, excited. Something that I'm quickly starting to realize is that I am growing a little bit sad that this series will be coming to an end in three days. There's been something about recording every day of my life where it just makes my life feel more exciting than maybe it feels when I'm not doing it. Like it feels like more shit's happening because I'm recording it and I, even though I'm not, like I'm doing all the same things that I would usually do except for the no music, no videos, no sugar, no, you know, all that, all that stuff. And I think more than anything, it's just like, this has been so rewarding for that inner creative that little Nick that just loves to have spontaneous adventures that he's starting to feel like, well, what are we gonna do once this is over? And that'll be something that I will have to process and just think about is what will this detox, how will I integrate this into my life? Because I can't do this forever, right? But there are ways to take some of the lessons I learned and then integrate it. And I don't know what that will look like yet, but I'm sure it'll be something, so. Gonna get to work now. Hey dear buddy buddy. Hey dear. Hey cutie. What are you doing today? Are you looking at the yard people? Oh yeah. Oh yeah fatty. Oh no, there she goes. She doesn't like people in her yard. Why are there people in our yard? Tell me, Ellie Bean, why are there people in our yard? I'm gonna get some food, and you're gonna try to eat it, but I'm not gonna give it to you. Oh, but you're gonna eat that instead. Okay. things that <clears throat> has stood out to me about this whole challenge is just how much I've started to feel how I took all of these things for granted. Like I just do them so often that I don't really enjoy them very much. Whereas when I don't have them, I'm like, dude, music? I would kill to listen to music right now. Or, you know, my smoothie that I used to drink every day. Like I would kill to drink that smoothie right now. Just all these like minor things that really aren't minor at all. At least not when you get them taken away from you or in my case, give them up. But at the same time, it isn't that hard to eat steak and eggs for breakfast every single day with water. And I've really been enjoying not getting distracted by videos and like the new Joe Rogan podcast came out a couple days ago with Theo Vaughn, one of my favorite guests. And yet when my brother told me that it had come out, I felt this, just this sense of like, man, why do I care so much about two strangers conversation? I much rather just focus on like the people in my life and my actual life. I feel like I've been absorbed into a different world where I am just thinking outside of the box instead of just what should I do now? 
it is also like, how should I do it? And it's like, well, if I'm doing that for you guys, then why don't I do that for myself every day? You know, just make my life interesting or fun in some way. Gonna go on my lunch break now and I don't know what I'll do. Let's find out. Here's the deal, I've got 10 minutes left of work. I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna go for a long walk. I know I said I was gonna take it easy today, but I've been sitting all day writing these fucking songs. So let's see how it goes. Those do not look like friendly clouds. So it is the end of day five. I think I'm just gonna spend the rest of the night doing nothing. Two things that I haven't been doing that I thought I would be doing a lot of writing for my new book and then also copying my grandmother's diaries, which I've been doing since the beginning of the year. And honestly, it's just felt like I'm doing too much as is. And the whole point of this is not to just distract myself with doing, because I'm really good at that. There's definitely a part of me realizing that, holy shit, if I have time to be recording myself every single day, then I am distracting myself way too fucking much. Because you might not be seeing this in the final cut, but I am putting in like two to three hours of recording every single day. And that time before was just, you know, found time that I would spend watching YouTube or just fucking scrolling on my phone, you know, just doing dumb shit. So it's putting into perspective, you know, obviously this isn't something that I'm gonna continue doing, but if I have enough time to be doing this, which is a huge undertaking, what else could I be dedicating that time to? And why aren't I? One of my favorite things and one of the positives of this whole experience is just how isolating it's been and not in a negative context. What I mean by that is that it is just honing me in on my life. It reminds me of going to friends' houses when I was younger and spending the night, right? And just all of a sudden, I don't have to be alone all the time. And so in a way, it's like tuning out my home life and just really honing in on the present moment of being with my friends and just having the best time of my life. And something else that I've been thinking about, there's a part of me that, you know, longs for consistent Spanish expression in my life whether that's a podcast or journaling or writing a book in Spanish, at the end of the day, it just feels like not a waste because I would be doing it for myself, but it feels like with the whole YouTube channel and everything that I'm doing is English. And so it's kind of just this random thing if I start doing a Spanish podcast. But all of that to say that I had really underestimated how much I miss communicating in Spanish. So I don't know, man. There's a part of me that thinks about, do I want to go back to Mexico? I, it's almost scary to even ask myself that because what if I do? Logistically, it doesn't really make sense. And I'm not even sure that that's something that I would want to do now at this age, but I can't help think of Mexico and feel peace 
But anyway, I ate one of my beef sticks. I have four left, which leaves me with two for the next two days. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm surprised at how easy it's been. I don't know if that's just me or if it's the nature of the challenge because I tried to invite people to do this challenge with me and everyone was like, no phone, fuck that. Like, <laughs> that's impossible or what, blah, 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 whatever. They all had excuses. I don't know, maybe it is really difficult and I just have good willpower or something. I don't know what it is, man, but I'm curious if any of you have been trying this or if you decide to try it after you watch this, what's your experience like? I'm excited for day six tomorrow. I love Saturdays. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you have been enjoying this. I hope you have a wonderful night and I will see you in the morning. Bye-bye.